there's no need to go in debt to buy a GPU. In this video, we'll compare the RX 7800 XT from the RTX 4070. In one corner, you have the RX 7800 XT, a GPU known for its impressive raw performance for $500. On the other side, we have the RTX 4070, a GPU that has great features like DLSS and great ray tracing. Now let's dig deep into the pros and cons on the first contender, the RX 7800 XT. This GPU shines in raw compute power. It also has better price to performance compared to the RTX 4070. Also has 16 gigabytes of VRAM compared to the RTX 4070's 12 gigabytes. And it also is more future proof with more VRAM. Now 12 gigabytes of VRAM is enough for 1440p, but in the future it could not be enough. Lastly, the RX 7800 XT is 7% faster than the RTX 4070 and $30 cheaper. However, the RX 7800 XT is not without its drawbacks. It lacks performance and ray tracing, a feature that's became more prevalent in games. It also has a worse upscaler and does not have DLSSS. It also uses more power. Now on to the RTX 4070 pros and cons. This GPU has better performance when it comes to ray tracing. It also offers DLSS technology, which uses AI to upscale lower resolution images, providing performance boost in supported games, and looks better than FSR 2.2. The RTX 4070 also uses lower power. On the downside, the RTX 4070 is more expensive and only has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. In conclusion, the choice between the RX 7800 XT and the RTX 4070 depends on your specific needs and budget. Is if raw compute power is your priority and you're okay with mid-ray tracing and don't care about DLSS, the RX 7800 XT is a great choice. On the other hand, if you're after the best ray tracing performance and DLSS and don't mind spending a bit more money, the RTX 4070 is worth it if you're fine with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Remember, the best GPU is the one that fulfills your needs and fits your budget.